Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a review and also an explanation of why I am returning these. These are the Allbirds Plant Pacer. I'm going to do in more detail, of course. Um, I got them in a size six. I do wear a six and a half in the tree dashers, but I am typically a size six now um, and found them true to size, but I wanna talk through them. I wanna talk about why I was so excited about them and why they're not gonna work for me. Here is one shoe so you can see it in more detail. It looks like a nice everyday sneaker. It's got some chunk to it. It's got some arch support you can see in the shape of it, which is lovely. It's a nice neutral color, which I wanted. I wanted a light colored shoe. And what I was most excited about with these is the material. So this material on the upper here is called Miram. And it is a material that I've been really excited about and wanting to ch wanted to check out. And it is a an alternative leather, a next generation material, but this one is made entirely of plants. Pretty much all of the other ones that exist that are plant based have some amount of plastic synthetic added into them as like a polymer in order to keep them together. But Miram does not. So I was just thrilled about them. I wanna show you the Miram in more detail. You can see that it almost has a grain to it like leather. It really does look like leather and it feels like leather as well. Of course, it's a little hard to tell in a shoe because it has backing to it. The backing is like a, a cotton, I believe. And then I think, I can't remember exactly all of the materials, but I will link the shoe down below so you can see them. So the shoe is, the shoe is vegan. The shoe is so cool. It has the feeling of leather, but again, yeah, I can't exactly feel it like on both sides, you know, because it's, because it um, is lined, but the actual material here, it feels great. I don't have any idea how breathable it is because again, it is lined on the other side and I didn't wear them much. Besides for the grain, it also has an interesting like pattern on it, right? It has some variation in the color, which is really pretty. I like them. I like the look of the shoe. This is what the bottom looks like. It's a great shoe. It's nice and padded. It's comfortable in that way. My issue is in terms of sizing and my issue is in terms of the interior of the shoe. So I have no problem with the Miram again that I know of. People said it was pretty easy to keep clean. I'm all for the look of it. I'm all for the feel of it. It doesn't feel plasticky. It feels like a leather, but the issue is the interior of the shoe again and the sizing. So my foot goes right up until about here. And my biggest issue with most of my Allbirds is the thinness of the material and that you can see your foot and your shoes, like your toes through them. So here is a video of me wearing the Miram. And as you can see, when I move my toes, you can see them. So even though this is a leather, it feels like a thicker shoe. It still has enough, I don't know exactly what it is, malleability that makes it show your feet. I also found that my foot went up really close to the front, but my heel would also slightly slip out. So I know if I went up a size, it would be significantly worse. I probably would have just tried to make the sizing work if it wasn't for my other issue of discomfort, which comes from the design of the inside. The back is lined and you can see that there's a line here, which you can definitely feel inside this design. The stitching of that is inside the shoe and it's uncomfortable. It's not just like a light piece of thread. I mean, that's what it looks like, but you can really feel the distinction between this part of the shoe and this part. And, and it's just, it's just not comfortable. You just, you feel that it kind of digs into your foot. I also think that the tongue of the shoe is a little wide. So, it kind of like falls off and is uncomfortable in that way. It does nicely cover these parts, so you don't feel that, but the actual tongue itself, I wish I could show you in a little bit more detail. The actual tongue itself has like a grooved almost edge to it, and it's so wide it hits you in an odd place, or it hits me at least in an odd place, and makes it a little uncomfortable. So I had really, really high hopes for these shoes, but I am returning them because to me, a sneaker is pointless if it's not comfortable. So although I was really excited about this material, I think I'm probably going to wind up trying to get it in a bag rather than a shoe. So that is it for this review. 
I am returning the shoe. I hope that you found this helpful. Please do leave any questions and comments about it down below. Would I try another Allbirds Miram shoe in the future? Yeah, probably I would because I am excited enough about the material, but it would have to be the right design to work for me. And again, I'm probably more excited about it as a material for bags than for shoes right now. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future video. Bye.